Hi, welcome to Grandma's German Kitchen. Next week we have the chocolate cake day. It is exactly on the 27th. So I give you a few days earlier my recipe of the German chocolate cake. Let's do it. So we bring 20 ounces of heavy whipping cream to boil. After it boils, we shut the stove down and pour in the 11 ounce of dark chocolate morsels and let it really good dissolve. Then we put it for 24 hours in the refrigerator. The ingredients are always listed in the description box underneath the video. But anyway, we did already the chocolate with the heavy cream. What we have here now for our boden, we have three ounces of all-purpose flour, we have three ounces of cornstarch, and we have one and a half ounce of cacao powder. Then we have seven and a half ounces of sugar, and we have one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda, and we have eight eggs, then we have a dash of salt we need and a dash of cinnamon and then we need a little bit hot water later, okay? So the next step is we separate the eggs. Egg yellow in one dish and egg white in another dish. Now we put a little bit salt in our egg white and mix it. Okay, the next step is we take the flour, the cornstarch, the baking powder and baking soda, the cacao powder and a dash of the cinnamon all in and mix it. And then we put this on the side. We take the egg jokes sugar and I forgot in the beginning we need one tablespoon vanilla sugar. If you don't have vanilla sugar you take a little vanilla extract and then we need six six to eight tablespoon hot water one two three four five six maybe we take seven then in the middle at seven and then we mix this nicely Now we take the egg white and bind it. Fold it right in. And in the same time we take a strainer or sifter and put piece by piece in our mix here. We fold it right in. Oh, 
Then we have like a 10 and a quarter inch spring form, 10 and a quarter inch in a diameter. We take some parchment paper and cover the board with that. Then we close it. Something is wrong here. Oh yeah, you have to change it this way. Very good. And now we cut the excess paper off here because we don't want that uh, in the stove. Then we pour all of this in here. What we're doing also, we shake this a little bit on the corner because it's always coming in the middle more higher than on the corner. So we go a little bit on the corner. Later on we can go with a knife and take that off after we baked it. So let's put it in the stove by 360 degrees for 15 minutes. So this was 24 hours in the fridge. Now he mixes a little bit. So the tools what we need uh, for our cake, for our chocolate cake is, I have here a little bit fishing line and um, I put on the end like a spoon or something so I can uh, hold it very well. And then from Amazon I bought like a pipe bag, it, it, this comes like with two bags and uh, all the pipes what we need and different designing uh, scrapers here, fantastic. So, that's our bowden. Take it off. Sometimes a stick, you have to go with the knife a little bit, especially if it's not cold like this. This was in the fridge for the whole night. So we take that off. So you take any plate, put this on top, and then twist this around. Take the paper out. I think we got lucky, we got it pretty nice. We take the thing board here, put this around. Now, so now we take a small knife and cut a little bit all the way around so we can put our fishing line in it. And put my My string right in. See, that's really have a spoon on the end so I can pull it better. other side and now we can put it over the cross 
maybe put it over across as you can see so and pull it right up that's it now we have it as you can see we have here cut in half pretty nice huh so now we take the whole thing put it on our plate then we take the top piece and go and cut this right list off I did it before but my camera wasn't working my camera was not on so we cut this all off then we have another piece can you see now we take our chocolate whipped cream mix and put it on our first layer nice evenly spread it out now we put the next crust or bowden on top of it and spread another whipped cream chocolate mix over that nicely spread it out now we put the top layer on it and cut the round stuff on top a little bit off because we don't want it too round on the top so then we put the cream mix on top and decorate the cake in order to make the finish look now we take the finished tool which came with the pipe bag and give the cake a finish look by the way the pipe bag uh, i put a link in my description box if you in case you want to order that from amazon if you go through my website uh, you will support my channel thank you for that all the leftover from our whipped cream chocolate mix we put in our pipe bag we don't want to waste anything we don't have much left so we have to go a little bit see i don't do that every day either so when you have a problem like this you have to move it a little bit okay good any decoration what you like you can put now on top of it Oh, <laughs> this is so good. <clears throat> I don't, let me see. Okay. Mm. Oh boy. I don't like that cake. I love that cake. Yeah. If you love my video, maybe you give me a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, maybe you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That would be very nice so my channel can grow and I can make more videos. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.